And welcome back to the Morning Blend with our continuing series, All That Sparkles with Kessler's Diamonds. Well, an engagement ring is a work of art that you're going to wear for a lifetime. But as life moves on, things change, and there may be a need to resize that ring. Yeah, you don't want to lose that work of art, right? Kyle Crane and Ariel Polika are from Kessler's. They're here with what you need to know about resizing your ring. Welcome to the blind, you guys. Thank you for having Great us. Great to see you. Yeah, thank you for having us. Especially on this cold day. Yeah. Yes. You. <laughs> Still coming out and joining us. Um, I think this is an interesting topic, and I think a lot of people think about the ring and maybe upgrading, getting a bigger diamond, those kinds of things, but not maybe adjusting the size. Yeah, uh, sizing is definitely going to be an art and very much like a science. You have to know how your ring fits. So if somebody has their ring on for like 20 some years, all of a sudden they're going to realize that they can't take it off. Right. <laughs> yeah. And when you're doing it as a brand new ring, you got to want to make sure that you know your hands well enough because if you were drinking the night before, your hands could be a little bit swollen the next morning or like you all know your body is very well it's cold out today like it's just awful out yeah. your hands are going to be very like small right now and then in the come summer when it's the dead of summer is boiling mm -hmm. hot your rings are going to fit very tight mm -hmm. and a lot of people think oh it's it's middle of summer my rings are too tight i have to get them sized but it's like no it's going to be normal when you're outside and it's boiling yeah, yeah. i mean there's a lot that goes into it so mm -hmm. how do you how do you know you have the exact right sizing then well, so a lot of that is going to be our particular specialty. So what we've been trained to do and what we practice every day is going to be, you're going to come on into the store. One of our office associates or sales associates, one of us, is going to come up and just greet you and kind of get to know you a little bit, see how you're feeling that day. If you, your hands need to be warmed up, cooled down, whatever it is. And then from there, we'll go ahead and figure out the best sizing for it. And so that's our particular specialty in figuring out how to exactly do that. Gotcha. Yeah, because um, I always wonder if you if you, if you're kind of between sizes, mm -hmm. is it better to go a little bigger rather than a little smaller? Would you say? Well, that again, that's going to be our particular specialty of figuring out because it, depending on the day, if it's very cold, it'd probably be a little bit better to go a little bit bigger. But if it's very warm, it'd probably be good to go a little bit smaller. Okay. Can any ring be resized? Because one thing I remember is like I have a, a family ring that I wanted to resize, mm -hmm. and they were talking about the fact that it would have to be like filled or something different would have to happen. So I was kind of shocked to hear like some rings really aren't perfect to resize, but maybe you can still do it yes. with a little added help. So certain rings can't be sized. So if it's a certain metal, okay. it just doesn't have the flexibility. If there, it's an eternity ring where the diamonds go completely around, there's just no way to oh, yeah. remove or add gold because the diamonds are fully around. If it's an heirloom piece, it might have been hollowed out or very thin, and a lot of people don't like to ruin the, like the antiqueness of it by adding like more metal onto it and thickening it up or if a ring has engraving on it if we're going to size it up or down it's going to break that engraving and so a lot of not every ring can be sized now if somebody has a kessler's ring and they have that great warranty that you guys offer yes. um that's a, a really good thing maybe e even possibly reordering a ring yes. right yeah so what that is is when you're covered under the kessler's purchase so our warranty is going to be that if you ever need it reordered we go ahead and we cover that for you guys. You guys are set or even the resizing. We just do that in shop. You're good to go. You come and pick your ring up and you leave happy. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, yeah. that is. Easy. <laughs> I mean, the, ama the, the warranty is amazing. You, you inspect things when you get them. And mm -hmm. I think that's something that's always valuable um, in terms of doing that. So what can people expect when they're sizing a ring when they go in and they want to get sized for the ring? Uh, well, I can show you. Yeah. So it's actually pretty easy. So like for now, with you, like your hands are a good temperature. It's mm -hmm. not hot, it's not cold. Mm -hmm. Oh, yours are hot <laughs> compared to mine. <laughs> and you'll want to make sure, like, so this one's a little loose on you. You see how easy it comes off the Yeah, knuckle? it goes over my knuckle too easily, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. so a lot of women have a tendency that the base of our figures will be pretty loose. Um, and then they're not, we have a little bit larger knuckles. Yeah, so it's pretty normal. Knuckle. So as long as you can get it over and it fits comfortably here and you can still get it off. So it's good that you have to wiggle it a little bit over yes. the knuckle, right? Yes, because so on those times where the ring is either very cold out, um, you have the chance of it slipping off. So yeah. you want to have to wiggle it off so that when your hands are cold, you're not like talking like this and, and the ring just goes flying. Yeah. And is it okay that sometimes in the, because I find sometimes in the summer or in mm -hmm. the mornings, I can't quite get my mm -hmm. ring on yet, We're but by midday, it does spin around. Yes. 
Yes, exactly. So that's going to be where it's going to be changing throughout the day. It needs to fit comfortably about 80% of the time. Gotcha. So it's going to be a little bit tighter in the morning and then throughout the day it can potentially become looser. But as long as, again, it is staying tight around that knuckle so that it's not coming off, that's, gotcha. that's the biggest thing that we would hate to have for you. I always wonder about guys who pop the question and yeah. they don't know the girl's ring size yes. and they want it to be a surprise. Now, obviously, they if she wears a ring on her ring finger, mm -hmm. they could take that in maybe if she's not wearing it on a date. Yes. But a lot of women don't wear yeah. a ring on right. their ring finger if they're not not engaged or married. So yeah. is there anything you do to help guys like that? Yeah, so that's really where we kind of get to have a little bit of fun and we get to talk to them and we say, that's not going to be your job to worry about that right mm -hmm. now. Your job to worry is to pick the ring that she's going to love, right? Pick out the yeah. diamond, pick out the band. Let's get that over and through with, right? The second they get that done, just take it home, propose to her, then they get to come back in, then we'll resize her at that time. And plus then we have like a little gift that we like to give them. So oh, that's go cute. up like a size or how do they do that? So that's going to, it's going to depend on the ring that they purchase. Okay. So if it's coming out of our case, it's going to be traditionally around a six to a seven. Okay. So, and that's going to just be the general size. And then so potentially if they need to go much larger or smaller, we can always reorder it um, in those sizes. But if it's going to be bumping up about a uh, size to size. It's usually a like a so. half to mm -hmm. maybe a full size. Yeah. We can do it in store. Yeah. But otherwise, the nice thing about being able to be able to reorder it is they're specifically making that ring for oh, you that's in cool. your I size. Because okay. then okay. nobody mm -hmm. else will have ever touched it or mm -hmm. worn it. It is your ring in your size. That that makes I sense. see. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay. You guys are great. This yeah. is really, I think this is really interesting, especially for people who are going to pop the question. They don't know sizes. You'll make um, it easy. Yeah, if yes. you're in the market for an engagement ring or if you've already got a piece of jewelry in your collection that needs a little resizing and TLC, the employee owners of Kessler's are here to help you. You can learn more or find a location near you by visiting Kesslersdiamonds.com. Um, you can find a location close to you and find out more about resizing, which is if great. If someone can't get their ring off, can you help them with that, too? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. We, like, we do okay. it often. Because there's a lot of people <laughs> home today who are like, well, I can't even get my ring off. You yep. can go in and they'll help you with that, yes. too. We do it a lot. What yes. do you do? Use liquid soap? Uh, you... Windex is actually going to be the best thing to do. Windex! Yep. Windex. No way. Oh, right off. Yes. Miracle. Yep. yep. That, that really is. Wild. Yes. It is. It only <laughs> wicks right stock. off. Yep. We have oh, little bottles of little blue bottles everywhere for people. Like, we get a lot of pregnant women that are like, I just can't get it off. I was like, I've got you. It's okay. That's <laughs> awesome. We're right. There you go. Great to see you guys. Yeah. Thanks so Thanks much. For having us.